It's that time of year again, the time when the Google gods bless us with huge announcements at their keynote. So here are the top 10 announcements from Google I.O. 2023, including major AI features and new gadgets galore. This is gonna be good. Hey friends, I'm Tasha Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and enough Google content that I could literally run my own Google I.O. Today, I'm breaking down the best announcements from Google I.O. 2023. There are some major goodies in here. You ready? Then let's go. We're gonna start with the best hardware announcements from this year's Google I.O. And let's begin with Pixel Tablet. This is Google's first tablet since 2018. Now you may remember from last year's I.O. they teased Pixel Tablet a little bit. Well, it's finally here. Google Pixel's tablet is powered by Google Tensor G2 and features an 11 inch display, three microphones, and comes with eight, 12, or 256 gigabyte models, but they are blessing us with a charging speaker dock for Pixel tablet. Once docked, you will be in hub mode, which turns Pixel tablet into a digital photo frame, smart home controller, a voice activated helper, and an entertainment device. You can also, switch between users really easily, which is just, what can I say? Huge. Plus, Chromecast is built into Pixel Tablet. Pixel Tablet is officially available to order now and starts at $4.99 US dollars. And guess what? You get the speaker dock for free with the purchase of Pixel Tablet. Can you believe? All right, up next, let's talk about Pixel 7a. This is just really a thing of dreams. Pixel 7a is powered by the same powerful Google Tensor G2 chip and has eight gigabytes RAM and 128 gigs of storage. The 7a features a 6.1 inch display and sleek bezel that we've come to know and love from our Pixel devices. And it's now overtaking Pixel 6a as the most beefed up camera in its class. For reference, its main camera sensor is 72% bigger than the 6A. Seriously, you should see some of the photo examples from this baby. Wowza. It's no surprise, pixels are just a cut above when it comes to computational photography. The 7A even comes in new coral color and it's available now starting at $4.99. Plus, Google is throwing in Pixel Buds A series and a case for every purchase. This is a lot of phone for a little price. So we're gonna dive into probably the most anticipated hardware announcement from Google this year, and that's the Google Pixel Fold. So for all of you wanting a foldable phone for some reason, Google is delivering their first foldable to you. Pixel Fold is of course powered by Tensor G2, but it's also the thinnest foldable phone on the market, which is important if you want this baby to fit in your pocket. Unfolded Pixel Fold features a 7.6 inch display that opens completely flat. You can enable tabletop mode for astrophotography or take advantage of the epic zoom quality on this too. But more importantly, you can use both displays at the same time. This means you can provide live translation for you and the person you're talking to. By the way, this is also a really great accessibility feature. Pixel Fold is available for pre-order now and it starts at $17.99 US dollars. That's $1,799. And by the way, if you pre-order a Fold, you get a Pixel Watch thrown into the deal too. Yes, really. Google's out here just throwing some sweet deals at us. So those are the best hardware announcements from Google I.O. 2023, but let's move on to a really cool Google Maps announcement because Google Maps just keeps getting better and better. Not that we should be surprised, it's the GOAT. And with that, I bring you Google Maps Immersive View. Now again, we first got a glimpse of this at last year's I.O. Ooh, it was glorious then, and it's even more glorious now. If you tap on immersive view, you'll get a whole new view of your route. You can zoom in to get a bird's eye view of the route, taking turns as if you're traveling the route in person in real time. This is bananas. You'll also be able to check weather and traffic info as well, which will give you a glimpse of how the conditions are expected to change throughout the day. Immersive view is rolling out this summer and it'll be launched in 15 cities by year end. Can you believe we are indeed living in the future and it's chef's kiss. 
But now let's move on to what I'm calling our Google Generative AI category. And this is a big one. We can't talk about AI without first talking about BARD. And the probably biggest announcement here is that Google is officially removing the waitlist. BARD is now available in English in over 180 countries and territories, and it'll soon be available in Japanese and Korean, as well as nearly 40 other languages soon. Plus, BARD is just downright getting smarter and is now familiar with over 20 programming languages. You can also now use dark mode in BARD. But one of the biggest BARD updates is that you'll be able to generate images right in BARD. And this is done in partnership with Adobe Firefly. How cool is that? Do you smell that? Smells like a BARD update video coming soon. But in the meantime, check out BARD for yourself at bard.google.com. And with that, let's move on to some other impressive generative AI features. Google just announced Magic Editor in Google Photos. I cannot begin to explain to you the insanity of this feature. It's like my brain cannot compute. Here's what I mean. You can recreate parts of a photo using generative AI. So in this example from Google, the balloons were cut off in this photo. So with a simple drag and drop, Magic Editor automatically recreates parts of the photo. In this case, the bench and the balloons. I mean, I just, can you believe? What is even happening? Are you still with me? Because my mind was just blown. But that's not all. You can also change up the sky color as well, which will change the lighting in the rest of the photo so everything remains consistent. Unreal. They also showed an example of removing a purse strap from someone, and then of course, completely repositioning a person in the photo with keeping the background the same. I'm shook. Can you even? I will try to compose myself so we can move through the rest of this video. Ay caramba. So now would be a good time to note that Google is rebranding its AI tools for Google Workspace as Duet. But we don't need to get too much into the weeds on the rebrand itself. Instead, let's focus on some of the amazing AI features. And we will start with a new feature found in Gmail and Docs called Help Me Write. Another good one. With Help Me Write, when you go to compose a reply in Gmail, you'll be able to type in a prompt for what it is you want. You'll hit create and instantly an email reply will be created for you. It'll even pull in details from the previous email in your reply. Over in Docs, all you have to do is prompt Docs with what you'd like help writing. When you hit the create button, your doc will automatically be created for you. Another great accessibility feature. But that's not all when it comes to Google Workspace AI updates. Let's jump into Sheets and see how AI is gonna help us get more organized there too. This is gonna work the same way here in Sheets. You'll ask Sheets to help you organize a specific project. And the example they used here in Google I.O. is that you're a dog walker and you need a client and pet roster for a dog walking business with rates. Instantly, a spreadsheet is created for you based on your prompt. No cell formatting required. This is next level. Slides is also getting an AI facelift, but there's just no more time in this video to go over any of that. All of these features will be available later this year, by the way. So instead, let's move on to something Google is calling Sidekick. Think of this as the AI giving you prompts right inside your Google Workspace. These prompts are contextual and will change based on what you're working on. So the example from Google here was that Sidekick reads the doc and offers suggestions for you. When you click on a suggestion, you'll get content provided for you that you can then insert into your doc. You'll even be able to generate images right inside Workspace. You can insert those into your doc as well, of course. Now keep in mind, this will work across your workspace. So Google also shows an example here of Sidekick inside Gmail. Sidekick summarizes the email and shows you what the email thread is about. You can then ask it to find attachments and write emails based on certain information. And of course, they also provided an example of how Sidekick can work in slides. In this example, Sidekick suggests adding speaker notes to the slides 
and then even generates what those notes can be. Pretty slick. Lastly, let's close out with important generative AI updates to Google search. This is going to change the way you fundamentally Google search. Rather than asking Google short prompts like, is Bryce Canyon family friendly? You can ask more nuanced prompts as seen in this example where the search is family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches. But the biggest difference will be seen in those search results. There will now be integrated search results at the top of your results page. So think of it like an AI powered snapshot. There are links included in this snapshot. So you can click to expand that view to check out the accuracy of the results as well. Generative AI can provide purchase recommendations, images, pricing, and more. You can ask follow-up questions or select a suggested next step. This will bring you into the all new conversational mode. So you don't have to reiterate your prompt. It just takes the context into consideration. So really you can start a Google search like you use Bard or any other AI chatbot, but it's built right into Google search. Now Google says this is search supercharged and boy, they aren't kidding. So of course there are announcements from Google IO 2023 that I didn't even get to in today's video, like Magic Compose and cinematic wallpapers and music LM and more. So I'm linking to the full Google IO 2023 video for you in the description below so you can rewatch it in all its glory. And if you are in the US, you can head to google.com slash labs to sign up for the waitlist to test some of these awesome AI features. Gotta love it. So do you agree that these are the biggest announcements from Google IO 2023? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for, like I said, even more Google content. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.